Stocking life-saving medicine for food allergies in schools could become law in the state of Michigan. A West Michigan lawmaker wants at least two EpiPens to be available in every public school building. 24 News aide Steve Kelso joins us with this story. Yeah, it's uh, State Representative Lisa Posthumous Lines, and she says placing inexpensive epinephrine auto injectors or EpiPens in schools and providing simple training to educators could save lives. But there are a couple of issues. Who would pay for them? And while they are simple to use, health professionals say knowing when to use them requires advanced training. My I have three children and two of my children have food allergies. The EpiPen is part of everyday life for Stacy Karecki. She carries two and her kids school keep them on reserve. Just to have it in your first aid kit in case a child goes into a life threatening reaction. It just is a no brainer to me. With six million children around around America suffering from allergies. I think this is a really important topic to have a discussion on. There is no question that epinephrine is serious medicine. It can temporarily stop severe allergic reactions, reactions known as anaphylaxis that can kill in minutes. But it's not just as simple as grabbing one of these and sticking it in somebody you think might be having an allergic reaction, is it? No, it's very important to recognize when you need to give it because allergic reactions are not that easy to recognize sometimes. Life-threatening allergic reactions are not the same as allergic reaction. Stephanie Painter is the director of school health services for Grand Rapids. For the past five years, EpiPens have been in all Grand Rapids schools, but only registered nurses are allowed to inject students who do not have a pre-diagnosed allergy. Last year, 13 different times we used the emergency protocol for the epinephrine. And you believe that you've had cases where you've actually saved lives? I know we've saved kids' lives, definitely. It is a prescription medication and is not without side effects. Dosage requirements vary and the medicine is very fragile. The window of acceptable storage temperatures is narrow and its shelf life short. Schools would have to replace the pens annually and train at least two staff members under the proposed law. Um, I don't want to put our schools on an undue financial burden um, as a result of this policy, but they are inexpensive and for the benefit of, of being able to save a life, the cost um, is certainly minimal. Speaking of cost, so how much do these EpiPens cost? They're not that expensive, about 100 bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. The first five years of the program at GRPS was paid for by Spectrum Health. Now that has expired, and so now there's a pharmaceutical company that's kicking in some of that and, and donating them. That can't sustain for the entire length of the program. I did speak with GRPS spokesman uh, John Helmholtz today. He says if the state is going to mandate this, they're going to have to foot the bill for it. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. All right. Thank Thanks, you, Steve. Steve.